Samuel Eldred Greenlee Jr. (July 13, 1930 to May 19, 2014) was an African American writer, best known for his groundbreaking novel *The Spook Who Sat by the Door*, which was first published in London by Allison and Busby in March 1969, having been rejected by dozens of mainstream publishers, and went on to be chosen as the Sunday Times Book of the Year. The novel was subsequently made into the 1973 movie of the same name, directed by Ivan Dixon and co-produced and written by Greenlee, that is now considered a cult classic. <laughs> Life and work <laughs> Early years and education Sam Greenlee was born in St. Luke's Hospital, Chicago, Illinois. His parents were singer and dancer DeSori Alexander and railroad man and union activist Samuel Greenlee, and grew up in West Woodlawn. He attended Englewood High School, and in 1948 won a track scholarship to the University of Wisconsin, graduating in 1952 with a B.S. degree in political science. He was a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Beta Omicron 1950. He served in the U.S. Army from 1952 to 1954, earning the rank of First Lieutenant, and from 1954 to 1957 did graduate studies in international relations at the University of Chicago. <laughs> U.S. Foreign Service In 1957 Greenlee began a career with the United States Information Agency, and, as one of first black officials to work overseas, served in Iraq in 1958 he was awarded the Meritorious Service Medal for Bravery during the Baghdad Revolution, Pakistan, Indonesia, and Greece between 1957 and 1965, leaving the United States Foreign Service after eight years, he stayed on in Greece where he undertook further study 1960 at the University of Thessaloniki, and lived for three years on the island of Mykonos. <laughs> <laughs> Writing career It was while living on Mykonos that Greenlee began to write his first and best-known novel, entitled The Spook Who Sat by the Door, which was the story of a black man who is recruited as a CIA agent and having mastered the skills of a spy then uses them to lead a black guerrilla movement in the U.S. Rejected by many mainstream publishers on both sides of the Atlantic, the novel was eventually published in London in March 1969 by Allison and Busby. Greenlee later co wrote with Mel Clay the screenplay for what became the 1973 film The Spook Who Sat by the Door that he co produced with director Ivan Dixon, and which is considered one of the more memorable and impassioned films that came out around the beginning of the notoriously polarizing blaxploitation era. In 2011, an independent documentary entitled Infiltrating Hollywood, The Rise and Fall of the Spook Who Sat by the Door was filmed by Christine Ackham and Clifford Ward, about the making and reception of the Spook film, in which Greenlee spoke out about the suppression of the film soon after its release. In a chance meeting with Aubrey Lewis (1935–2001), one of the first black FBI agents to have been recruited in 1962 by the FBI, Greenlee was told that the spook who sat by the door was required reading at the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia. Other works by Greenlee include *Baghdad Blues*, a 1976 novel based on his experiences traveling in Iraq in the 1950s and witnessing the 1958 Iraqi Revolution. Blues for an African Princess, a 1971 collection of poems, and Ammunition Poetry, 1975. He also wrote short stories, plays, although he found no producer for any of them, and the screenplay for a film short called Lisa Trotter 2010, a story adapted from Aristophanes' Lysistrata. <laughs> Later years Greenlee lived in Ghana and Spain for some years, before returning to Chicago in the late 1980s. 
In 1990 he was named the Poet Laureate of Illinois. He taught screenwriting at Columbia College Chicago and hosted a talk show on WVON Radio. He also worked on an autobiography that was to be called Sam's Blues, Adventures of a Traveling Man. Death On May 19, 2014, Greenlee died in Chicago at the age of 83. On June 6, 2014, Chicago's Dusable Museum of African American History sponsored an evening of celebration in his honor, attended by his daughter Natiki Montano. Topic bibliography novels The Spook Who Sat by the Door, London, Allison and Busby, 1969. Baghdad Blues, New York, Bantam Books, 1976, Poetry Blues for an African Princess, Chicago, Third World Press, 1971. Ammunition, Poetry and Other Raps Introduction Andrew Salky, London, Bogle Louverture, 1975. B. Bop Man, B. Bop Woman, 1968–1993, Poetry and Other Raps, Cambria Heights, N.Y., Natiki, 1995, Short Stories, Yes, We Can Sing, Negro Digest, 15.2, December 1965, pp. 65–69. The Sign, Negro Digest, 15.4, February 1966, pp. 61-66. Summer Sunday, Negro Digest, 15.11, September 1966, 60-61. Autumn Leaves, in Negro Digest 16.3, January 1967, pp. 69-73. The DC Blues, Negro Digest, 18.8, June 1969, 86-92. Sunny's Seasons, Black World, 19.12, October 1970, pp. 58-63. Sunny's Not Blue, in Woody King, ed., Black Short Story Anthology, New York, Signet, 1972, p. 91-96. Blues for Little Prayers, in Black World, 22.10 August 1973, pp. 54-62. Reprinted in Sasha Feinstein and David Reif, eds., The Jazz Fiction Anthology, Indiana University Press, 2009, pp. 205-13.